And then Paul, he develops this. And he says there were three great superpowers that were holding every unbeliever captive in chains of sin. And it was the world and the flesh and the devil. And each one of those far more powerful than any unbeliever. And Paul now walks through these three superpowers one at a time. He begins with the world. And he said, you once formally walked according to the course of this world. The world here refers to the present world order, the evil world system that is in revolt against God, that is anti-God, anti-Christ, anti-truth, anti-family, anti-anything and everything that is holy and righteous and good. And you once were swept up and caught up in the tidal wave of this world, and you were walking according to the course of this world. You're going away from God. And then he says, the second superpower, the devil. And he says, according to the prince of the power of the air. We know exactly who that is. That is Satan himself, the evil one. And he is so pervasive, he says, of the spirit that refers to Satan, who is a spirit being that is now working in the sons of disobedience. This word working is in the present tense, meaning Satan is, is always at work. He and all of his minions, myriads and myriads of demonic spirits, it's in the active voice, meaning the devil is always at work, seducing and tempting and corrupting those who are dead in their trespasses and sins causing them to be sons of disobedience, deceiving them and blinding them. And then he mentions the third superpower in verse 3, the flesh. He says, among them, referring to every unbeliever. This isn't just a category of some unbelievers. It's an across-the-board statement of every single person who is outside of the Lord Jesus Christ. Among them, note the next word, we. The Apostle Paul includes himself in this, in his own pre-conversion life, before the Damascus Road, before the risen Christ appeared to him, Paul puts himself in this very same category. Paul was a Hebrew of Hebrews, circumcised on the, on the eighth day of the tribe of, of Benjamin. He was, as, he was as religious as any person on planet Earth. He was a Pharisee. He knew the Bible inside out. And yet, he was held captive by the world and the devil. And Paul includes himself here, even his own flesh. Among them, we too, all, it's a comprehensive statement. We all formerly lived, day in, day out, 